Hey friends, how's it going today? I just want to take a moment to share with you a brief little uh, teaching from uh, the Sufi message of Hazrat Nayak Khan, the centennial edition of volume three, uh, titled The Art of Personality. Uh, the Art of Personality is really about um, developing these divine qualities within ourselves and being able to clearly reflect those out in a way that other people can kind of really see in us those qualities and hopefully that they catch a glimpse of that reflection in themselves and work to cultivate those same qualities in themselves and so forth. And one of the things that really, you know, drew me to the teachings of Hazrat Nayak Khan and has had me on this path over 15 years and led me to want to teach and, and to be a representative for the order is because the way that Murshid speaks, Murshid is the name for teacher and we, we usually refer to um, Hazrat Nayak Khan as Murshid because he was the kind of the, the main teacher that brought the message to us in, in this form. Um, but Murshid speaks of everything in musical terms, in relation to music, and in relation to how we are all part of this symphony of the universe. And uh, the thing that really drew me to the path was a phrase in the book that said, in the book, um, The Mysticism of Sound and Music, which I, where I first discovered this message, um, was to achieve to attain spirituality is to realize that the whole universe is one symphony in which we each have our own individual note and um, this kind of goes a little deeper into that idea because this is about ear training and you know there's other other headings in here word of honor self-respect vanity um, the persuasive tendency these are all things that we can work on to either cultivate or to tame within our personality to really work with the art of personality to create our personality so that it's it's an artful expression of a divine quality or a, or a higher reality which is that we are all one and that we're all part of the divine right so with that said this this particular um, lesson is about ear training and it's really poignant because it really is talks about a, a deeper level of listening and a deeper level of understanding in what we're experiencing in everyday life through the medium of sound and through the medium of understanding the tone and the and the cadence and the rhythm of sound. Um, it's not just about the sound itself. And we, we hear so many sounds throughout our day that hit us and uh, we, we just have no idea what it's doing to us, you know? Um, and it just subliminally goes in and out. Um, but, uh, you know, to really be conscious of some of those little subtle things is kind of what this lesson teaches. So I'll let it speak for itself. Ear Training by Hazrat and Nayak Khan. The art of personality is like the art of music. It wants ear training and voice culture. To a person who knows life's music, the art of personality comes naturally, and it is unmusical of a soul not only in artistic, when it shows the lack of this art in its personality. When one looks at every soul as a note of music and learns to recognize what note it is, flat or sharp or high or low, and what pitch it belongs to, then one becomes the knower of souls and one just knows how to deal with everything. You just know. In our own actions, in our own speech, we show the art. We harmonize with the rhythm of the atmosphere, with the tone of the person, with the theme of the moment. To become refined is to become musical. It is those who are musical in soul who are artistic in their personality. When a word is spoken in a different tone, the same word changes its meaning. A word spoken at a proper moment and held back at the moment when it should not be expressed, completes the music of life. It is a continual inclination to produce beauty, which helps one to develop art in personality. It is amusing how readily human beings feel inclined to learn the outer refinement and how slow many souls are found to be to develop that beauty of personality inwardly. It must be remembered that the outer manner is meaningless if it is not prompted by the inner impulse towards beauty. How pleased God is with, with humanity, 
How pleased God is with humanity can be learned from the story of Indra, the king of paradise, at whose court Gandharvas and Aparsas dance. When interpreted in the plain words, this means that God is the essence of beauty. It is God's love of beauty which has caused God to express God's own beauty, which has caused God to express God's own beauty in manifestation. And God is pleased to see beauty in manifestation, for it is God's desire fulfilled in the objective world. I'm going to read that one again. When interpreted into plain words, this means that God is the essence of beauty. It is God's love of beauty which has caused God to express God's own beauty in manifestation. And God is pleased to see beauty in manifestation, for it is God's desire fulfilled in the objective world. It is amusing sometimes to watch how a good manner annoys someone who is proud of their bad manner. This person will call it shallow because pride is hurt by the sight of something which that person has not got. As the one who hands does not reach the grapes upon the tree says at the failure that the grapes are sour. And to some, it is too fine to become refined. Just as many will not like good music and are quite satisfied with the popular music. And many even become tired of good music for it seems foreign to their nature. As it is not a merit to become unmusical, so it is not wise to turn against refinement. One must only try and develop beauty, trusting that the beauty is the depth of one's soul, and its expression in whatever form is the sign of the soul's unfoldment. beautiful teaching on ear training and just uh what i really took from this when i when i read it this morning was just how um there's a lot of different voices in the world right now um speaking a lot of different uh groups organizations um political affiliations uh, science non-science there's a lot of things in our world right now that are being spoken and it's important that we listen to all of it um, in the sense that, you know, there, there are a lot of nuances that we might not catch, you know, it's important not to just listen to the words or listen to what's being spoken, but to really understand the tone, really see the personality behind it, to really see the nature of what brought that expression forth. What, what is the quality being expressed? What is the art of personality present in that moment? Um, is it a spirit of of guidance of helpfulness of compassion or is it a spirit of um greed and manipulation and pain you know um these are things that we 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 often just don't recognize and we overlook you know so this is just such a beautiful teaching for this time and moment because there are a lot of voices speaking and there are a lot of um, sounds happening. There's a lot of energy out there, a lot of vibrations going on. And um, for us to ignore that is to really kind of be sucked into this vortex of um, unknowing and also uh, um, just being very unaware of the effect that vibration um, has on our body and the rhythm of the, the universe and the ebb and flow of the planets. Um, all, of the, all this really affects us and we have to be more aware. And so by training the ear, to hear those subtle personality things, the way that words are spoken, the way things are said, um, the the attitude and the inflection. That's why text messages are so hard. Have you ever written a, e a text message or maybe an email to somebody and it just didn't quite, quite translate the way that you meant it? <laughs> um, it? Happens all the time with a text message. And uh, when you can actually speak and you can hear the inflections in the voice, you can hear the intention behind the words and you can really get a sense of, and even better, when you can see the eyes, when you can look into the eyes of the other when they're speaking, when you can really see the mouth and the facial expressions, um, which we, we haven't been able to do for a long time. So, um, you know, these are, these are really subtle teachings 
and it really can make a huge difference in your life. So listen closely, my friends, train your ear, and develop the art of personality the best that you can. I wish you all blessings, wellness, love and light, healing,